In this video, we will cover how to provide feedback to students using Feedback Studio in Moodle. To access the Originality Report, eRater Grammar and Spelling Check, and provide feedback to students using Feedback Studio, click on the Turnitin Assignment. In the Assignment Dashboard, you will see a list of your students that have submitted an assignment, the paper title, when it was uploaded by the student, and if it was submitted late. If students have viewed your feedback when the release date passes, the grade, and the similarity report score. To provide feedback to your students, click on the pencil icon. Feedback Studio will open in a new window. Click on the layer button to see the grading layer, the similarity layer, and the e-rater layer. If you want to focus just on the grading layer, Unclick the Similarity layer and the E-Rater layer. Let's begin by clicking on Quick Marks. You will see a preloaded list of Quick Marks here. These Quick Marks are organized into a Quick Mark set called Commonly Used. There are several preloaded sets of Quick Marks available to you. To explore them, click on the arrow to access the drop-down menu. You can organize the existing Quick Mark sets or organize your own Quick Mark set by clicking on this gear sign. This screen appears. You can toggle between sets using the drop down menu. If your department has a shared set of Quick Marks that they would like you to use for uniformity and feedback, you can upload that set here. You can also create your own set by combining Quick Marks from other sets by clicking here. Or here. To do this, click on Create New Set and name it. In this case, I named it My Set. From there, you can grab quick marks from other sets and add it to your new set. To do this, choose the set to view the quick marks from the drop down menu previously discussed. Then click on the quick mark you want to add to your set and select Add to Set. Select your target set from the set list and the quick mark will be added to it. You can add multiple quick marks from multiple sets this way. When you are done, click close. From the drop down menu, you can choose your newly created quick mark set and see the quick marks that you added to it. You can then click and drag a quick mark and place it next to the appropriate sentence in the paper. You can also click in the paper space itself and this icon will appear. You could then choose to add a quick mark using this option. Click on the quick mark and it will be added. You can also choose to add personalized feedback by clicking in the paper space and choosing the speech bubble icon. Type your message here. You can bold, italicize, and even provide a hyperlink in your message using the hyperlink icon. For example, here I asked the student to update the statistics used in the paper and provided a link to where those statistics should be found. It is possible that you may find yourself writing the same feedback on multiple papers, and as such, you want to make a personalized quick mark out of this feedback. To do this, click Convert to Quick Mark. Name the quick mark and choose the set to save the quick mark into. In this case, it is to my set. Then click Save. The newly created quick mark will show under the quick mark set called My Set, and you will be able to use it on other students' papers. You can also choose to add personalized feedback by clicking in the paper space and then clicking the text icon. You can type text directly on the paper. Perhaps you would like to make sentence specific comments. You can highlight a sentence in the paper and choose to associate a particular quick mark with it by clicking on the quick mark icon. You can also add a personal note to that existing quick mark. You can highlight a sentence in the paper and choose to provide personalized text 
using the speech bubble icon. After providing the feedback, you can choose to convert it to a quick mark if you wish. You can highlight a sentence in the paper and choose to strike through the sentence. The sentence that was highlighted has a strike through indicated. You can associate a quick mark with your rubric by clicking on the quick mark icon and choosing assign criterion. Then choosing the criterion to which this quick mark is related. You can associate as many quick marks as you would like to the rubric. This symbol indicates that they are associated to a criterion. You can choose to give overall feedback to the student by clicking on this icon. You can record a voice comment up to three minutes in length. You can play it back and then save it. You can choose to add a general comment of up to 5,000 characters by typing it here. You can look at the rubric you created for this assignment. Click on the enlarge icon to view it at full screen. This is the rubric at full screen. You can see the feedback that is associated with the criterion. Click on the feedback icon to view that feedback. When you have filled out the rubric, click apply to grade. The grade will appear on the paper. Click on the arrows to navigate between students. Because the grades in Feedback Studio automatically go to the gradebook, you might want to hide the grade column in the gradebook so that students do not see the grade given before the feedback release date passes. If you have allowed more than one submission, you may need to find out which is the latest version of the paper in order to grade it. Click on the information icon for this. It will tell you the submission date and time. You may need to download the grading report, originality report, and or e-rater report. To do this, click on the download icon. Then click current view. If the similarity layer is the only layer selected, then the report will only contain the similarity information, including the overall match score, a list of the major matches, and any exclusions. If the grading layer is the only layer selected, then the report will only contain the grading information, including rubrics, feedback, and overall comments. If the e-rater layer is the only layer selected, then the report will contain only grammar and spelling suggestions. If all layers are selected, then all the information will be included in the report. To view a text-only version of the report, click on Text-only Report. Click Document Viewer to return to the Document Viewer screen.